So uh, I'm going to I'm going to transition into say front view by hitting uh, the number one. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and uh, you know you see this cube. And uh, I should point out that one thing I should have mentioned is if you have multiple things selected in your scene uh, and you want to clear it out, you're probably wondering like, well, all right, how do I deselect stuff? The, the, basically, the most straightforward way to deselect objects in object mo mode or edit mode is to hit the A key. And so A will actually s select uh, everything or deselect everything. So you actually probably get pretty familiar with that. If you're in object mode, you'll select all the different objects. If you're in edit mode, you can only be in edit mode for one object at a time. If you're in, if you're in uh, edit mode, you'll select everything that is pertinent to the edit mode. In this case, uh, all the vertices uh, that make up this cube. <clears throat> so now we can go ahead and, and just like we were in object mode, we were selecting and manipulating uh, different objects, we can do the same thing with uh, vertices of a mesh. So for example, I can grab, by right clicking, I can select any given vertice, uh, or I can grab multiple vertices by holding shift, which is a pretty common uh, command, uh, and then say I want to grab. So I'll hit G, and then I just start moving this around. Okay, so now we can like, you know, make a little triangle, or you know, we can pop this down and you, we can do just about anything we want with it. And so now we've created this kind of strange, uh, you know, uh, strange cuboid structure. And you can also do scaling. And you can also do, if you have at least two vertices selected, uh, we can do rotation. And, so, and we can do this along various axes, x, y, or z, whatever makes sense. And now we've got this uh, kind of strange structure. If we come back out of edit mode, now we've got our object in its strange shape. And we can go ahead and start doing stuff with that. OK. Uh, OK. And so there's, uh, so pressing A selects all, deselects all. If we wanted to clear the scene, say, you know, we don't want the cube. We want something else to work with because it's much, the cube doesn't really help us do what we want to do. Like, say we want to make a cell and we want to make something that looks cool and organic um, for biology purposes. Then uh, let's get rid of the default cube. And the way we do that is by hitting X to delete. Uh, you can also click on delete up here and this will delete the object. And it'll ask you to confirm. Of course, you don't always want to just delete the first moment that you hit the X button. So they give you a confirm option. We'll click OK, and then we've uh, removed our object from the scene. I'm going to hit Shift C, and then Control Dot to get us back to the cursor at the origin, and we can add a new object. Now, the way to add a new object, there's a couple ways to do it. Um, uh, one of the more straightforward ways is to just come up to the panel here and click on Add, and then we get a whole list of different things to add. I think the faster way to do this is the shortcut key of hitting Shift A. So we hit Shift A. We pull up a bunch of ob objects that we can add to the scene, uh, uh, different, um, different base objects. What these are called in uh, 3D graphics in general are primitives. So essentially, just like if you're working in a 2D, gra 2 2D uh, graphic uh, software like Illustrator or Photoshop, you, know, you might want to just add a polygon or a circle or you know, something else that's just a standard shape so you don't have to make it from scratch. These are all the primitives that you can work with. And of course, most of the time, if you're modeling, you probably want to start with the primitives so you can take the, the work out of what you're doing. So we have a bunch of mesh options, which again, are uh, meshes are specifically objects that are made up of vertices that are connected by, li by lines or edges, and, that, and then those edges combine to make faces. Uh, one default or one parameter of, of Blender is that by, uh, they only make, you can only make faces of three or four vertices. Uh, you might want to make like a flat surface of five vertices uh, to make like a pentagon or something. But really what that's going to end up being is some combination of triangles and, um, and quadrangles, you know. So, uh, <coughs> so if we wanted to go ahead and add something uh, right to where our cursor is, this is where objects are added, we can say collect, uh, uh, sorry, click on plane and we'll add a plane. And you'll notice the default way is to add it so that it's actually in line with the x, y, z, uh, sorry, the x, y axis, axes. Okay, so if we want to just get a perspective of all the different meshes we can add, we'll add a cube which we started with, which you can see right here. Move that out of the way. Uh, shift, we'll add uh, a circle. Uh, let's see, we can add a UV sphere which has a bunch of uh, 
uh, it's a default s shape and size. It has about 32 rings and 32 uh, half circles that make up the, the, whole, the uh, whole object. Um, actually, we want to change something for a second. Now, a lot of these things, uh, as you might get um, in other p packages, say I, I think we can do this with a plane. No. Say I want to add a, a sphere, but I want to be able to adjust the, the parameters, the values. So here we have actually 16 rings and 32 segments. Now you have to catch this just as after you add the object. You have to come down to this, the tools panel and you want to adjust things like the number of rings. So you can see actually we can go, if we zoom in here, uh, and if you hit Z, you go into wireframe mode. This might give you a better perspective of what, of what you're looking at. Uh, maybe it's more confusing for uh, some people. But, uh, so I'll look at it from the uh, side view here. And uh, we see that if we drag the number of segments, we can change the number of uh, vertical segments that make up the uh, sphere, and we can change the number of rings that make up the sphere. We can go all the way down to three rings, and we can go all the way down to uh, three segments. So we end up with uh, just this strange pyramidoid kind of structure. Uh, okay. So. Um, all right. So we got about half an hour left. Is there other particular things that that uh, you you want me to cover that uh, I haven't gotten to yet? But just before I keep going on. No, I mean just keep going. Guys. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Is there Gail. Construction history. So if you do several manipulations and you want to go back to step one, but you're on step five, you want to change the. Yeah. Yeah, so if you come over to the tool panels here, there's uh, repeat last, which you can also do control Z or command Z if you're on PC or Mac. And if you pull up this history, uh, you click on the history button, you can have all of these different options uh, in, in front of you. So um, if you want, this is, I think the point of this is to say, repeat one of your last options. Um, so, and, uh, so this toggled us back into edit mode because I chose history and then sele selected uh, toggle edit mode. Uh, this one says add UV sphere, so it just added a UV sphere. So that's if you want to repeat one of your last actions. Uh, typically, if you want to undo a last action, you hit Control Z, as I said, or Command Z on a Mac, uh, and uh, there's, you can change the default parameters. But just to save, uh, you, depending on your your computer and how much space you want uh, you you want it to take up, you can change the number of uh, undo units that you can do. I think the default is 32, so you can change that to you know 500 if you want. Of course, it's just going to, all that's going to pile up in your, uh, in, in your processor, and it's going to have to keep track of that in your RAM. So that could slow things down, but you know, of course. Um, <coughs> so I can't take a sphere, move a few vertices around, but then go back and change the number of, like, isoparts of the sphere. Uh, you like the number of rings or something right, like those, that after? Those things you have to do right after creation. Yeah, yeah. And that, um, yeah. So it used to be a little bit different in the last version. You'd add it, and then a little window would pop up and say, "How many? What are the parameters of your object? How many rings? How many sphere uh, circles or whatever uh, segments?" And then you'd adjust it there, and then it would go away, and you'd have your object. And I think once you've started manipulating the object, you really can't adjust those basic parameters. Uh, I may be incorrect, but as far as I'm aware, that's not that's not uh, possible. Um, okay. You know what? How, how many undos you can do? How many? Undos, yeah. uh, 32 I think is the default, and then you can you should be able to go into user preferences I think into uh, uh, editing yeah here it is so it says glo undo global undo and steps 32 so you could drag this up you can go as high as 64 that's as high as high as you, high as you can go actually sorry uh, but the default is 32. I think you can type more than. The oh really? Let's try 500 like I said nope. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's that's going to be too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. In edit mode, yeah. you select the, the plane. So select the. Oh right. So that so that's one of the things. When you're in edit mode, you can really only manipulate the the vertices of one object at a time. Yeah. So if you want to if you want to select a different a whole different object, you actually have to come out of edit mode, select the object, go back into edit mode, and then start playing with those vertices. Yeah. Uh, if you if you want to make multiple objects part of the same mesh, for example, which often is, is useful. Uh, you can say, in this scene, I've got the cube here, 
which notice it's out of plane because when I added it, I was in kind of at an angle. So it just, again, it's just using the view plane. Um, OK. Uh, so say I wanted to combine. Uh, I think I'm, am I, did I answer your question? I think, like you're saying you're in edit mode. Yeah, I want to select the, like say I want to select one plane of the sphere and move instead of selecting Oh, the, I'm sorry. Yeah, of course. Of right. The, no, that's a really good point. OK, so uh, yeah, so let's say we're in the edit mode here. OK, so down at the bottom here, I'll zoom in. We have these uh, little buttons down at the bottom. Uh -huh. So we've got vertex select mode, edge select mode, yep. and face select mode. And you can actually, sh if you click shift, you can add, add them all. Or just if you don't shift, you can select one independently. And so if we click on face select mode, we can select an individual face <coughs> and just pull that out and start moving it around. Yep. Okay. Yep. 